if I think about uh, um, why I became a doctor, um, I can recall my mom said when I was still a little boy um, from a very young age, I just said, I'm going to become a doctor. And that was uh, quite strange because uh, there were no other doctors in our family. So I thought now, how can that be? Then uh, we had a GP that lived next door to us when we grew up. And I thought maybe it's our exposure to this GP because uh, um, as young children, we often had lacerations and bruises and so on, which was attended by uh, this Dr. Paul Swart. And, uh, you know, maybe I thought he was a magician because he could put us all back together again. But yeah, um, that, that is the only thing I can think about what made me uh, do medicine. But obviously when you start studying medicine, which I did at the University of Pretoria as an undergrad, uh, graduate, and um, you, you go through all the different disciplines um, from pediatrics, surgery, anesthetics, and so on. And that's where Ops and Gynae stood out for me because um, if you're a gynecologist, you, you deal with healthy patients, you know, and um, yes, they do have a problem. You can help them with the problem. And then obviously the miracles of delivering babies. That is, uh, um, that was very special. Obviously we don't deliver babies anymore, but that's where it all started. And then the more patients you see, then you realize that there are other patients that obviously can't fall pregnant and then you see the hardship of uh, being unable to have babies and that's when the penny dropped and I decided uh, to do some fertility training which I did at the University of Stellenbosch um, and uh, my mentor Professor Tina Kruger at the Tigerberg Hospital and then uh, um, completing those studies uh, here I am now and Every morning I get out of bed, no, I jump out of bed because I know I have the opportunity, uh, the ability to help some, somebody else to have uh, a baby, and to, uh, which is amazing.